All right, so Fat Matt Outdoors coming at you. Either way, this is my strategy. So I'm pulling out the heavy hitters, stuff that uh, you guys probably have not had the opportunity to fish with for a while. And you know what? I don't really care about letting you guys know what my strategy is because, you know, it's not always the bait at the end of the line. It's who's moving that bait. So anyway, first item right here. Let me show you this right here. You guys probably haven't seen one of these in a long time. So this is the first, first bait that I intend to use. See that? You're focusing all right? All right, so this is the magic action right here. This is, this is what's gonna slam. This is worth a 10 pounder all day long. See that? See that magic tail action? Bet, bet you guys ain't got one of these. Bet you guys are all scrambling right now thinking, man, I used to have one of those, but I took the hooks off of it and gave it to my kid. So right now, you might want to go find it. And it's got to be the red and white one. If you've got any of the other ones, you're just playing out of luck. Not going to help you none. All right? So that's number one. We're going to just twitch this around. See? There you go. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be huge. As you know, I will be fishing in a tournament in Bienville, Florida at Bienville Plantation. Um, it's a kayak bass fishing organization tournament. And I don't know if it's considered a trail tournament or a special event or a challenge. Got no idea exactly how it's classified, but I do know that there's another event going on simultaneously that is 10 for 10, and that's the top 10 angler of the year point standing holders fishing against each other on a lake separate from the members only tournament. Um, and they are fishing for $10,000 cash prizes i don't know how that breaks up whether it goes ten thousand to one person first place whether it's broken over the entire purse but either way that's a lot of money for a kayak bass fishing tournament my next item right here folks the banjo minnow okay see i got all the different sizes that spotted one right there that's going to get you that's the one that's going to make you go Oh my gosh, how did he do it? And you know, some of the folks ain't going to see this. So they're, they're, they're not going to be prepared. But you know, if you ain't got the banjo minnow yet, you might want to jump on Amazon, buy you a couple of packs, because you're going to need them. It's two days of fishing now. Two days. So, you know, I got more. And, you know, this one right here, that, that thread thin shad right there on the top, that's the one. So, banjo minnow. If you don't have those, you need to get them right now. Be ready, because the banjo minnow is what's going to lay the smack down on those bass. These right. are definitely the best bass anglers in the nation. And um, if folks want to argue that, that's fine. They can get in the kayak bass fishing um, tournament series and they can compete. Um, to dispute whether these 10 are the top 10 or not because if you're not up there in the top 10 you probably can't really argue that I don't care what field you fish in or what trail you fish in um, they're the top 10 there's one other thing in my arsenal so we're going to have this hooked up and uh, four or five rods and I've heard everybody talking about stick baits and you know I didn't really have any stick baits so I went and made some so right here, see, here's my stick bait. This is my big fish stick bait. This is the one that I'm gonna use to catch the big one. 
and this is gonna lay the smack down on it so you see I got a little lip like right here and you, you know you just tie the string around it and then this makes it dive like that and then you just kind of let it set and retrieve let it set so that stick bait and it's pretty easy you guys can probably mimic this you know but you got to have the gold hooks and only the single hooks because if you get the treble hooks they get all caught up on the wood and stuff so then you don't get your you know your stick bait doesn't make a good hook up with now while i'm not part of the top 10 i still have the opportunity to be part of 10 it could be the worst 10 but either way um i'm angling to be part of the top 10 in the members only tournament so what i thought i would do is take a minute and kind of lay out my strategy for what i would be doing it looks like the weather is going to be less than cooperative and probably the worst fishing i won't say worse because man it can always get worse but probably one of the least favorite fishing condition scenarios that i uh, am going to fish in it's going to be cold um, there's going to be some wind, but it doesn't really matter because it looks like late 14 is protected in a thousand different ways. And it's basically a strip pit, whether they mine phosphate or shell or whatever, I'm not sure. But um, it's, it's what I fish around here and have fished over the years. Um, so there's varying depths and there's always kind of a wind break because um, they're really channelized lakes and... Um, there's lots of nooks and crannies and bends and turns. Uh, so you can always get out of the wind. That's not gonna be a big deal. All right, so then I got my little stick bait right here. And this is more of a suspending stick bait. This is, you know, so I can get it down a little bit and I can mimic, you know, a fish just kind of hovering around in the area and keep it in the strike zone a little bit longer. So, you know, this, this will come down and, you know, I'll get it down three or four feet and twitch it until it gets a little bit deeper and just kind of hang it in there and just wait. That's all there is to it. This magical, magical. So that's just a real quick overview of my, you know, strategy. But it is going to be cold and that has changed over the days and I'm hoping that it pushes a little bit further back and that our lows do not get below 40 right now it shows the lows below 40 at one time it was showing around 32 degrees um, but that's changed over the last couple days and as it continues to push if this front's a little bit further ahead then i'm hoping that we don't get below 40 degrees at night and that we get up in the high 60s um, maybe low 70s during the day but we'll take whatever in bill so you know i would encourage you guys to take those things to heart and uh, make sure that you're prepared because as you can see you know I, i'm i'm bringing it ready to go cold no cold rain doesn't matter bienville members only tournament catching the big ones fat matt see you there